Hey Valkyries, welcome into another episode of Inside Valkyrie Athletics. I'm Chris Sawyer. My guest host, Sydney Grimes, student athlete on the golf team. Sydney, we're back. They let us come back. We are. They did let us come back. Man, it's cold and rainy out here. It, it is. But it hey, is. it's not in here. We're ready to talk Valkyries Athletics. We got sure. a great show today. We do. We have a lot of exciting guests. We have a lot of student athletes on this show today. So we have a student athlete from track and field team as well as softball. And then we have a huge exciting announcement. We do have a voice for Valkyries Athletics. The voice of the Val Valkyries. Okay. That's right. well, I'm excited. I'm excited for that interview. But you're right. All our all our student athletes are pretty much starting competition right now. So we're going to make sure that we're highlighting their performances, what they're doing on and off the field or on the court in the classroom. Speaking of that, and I don't know if you saw this, but uh, the Conference Carolina's all academic team came out yesterday. And I didn't see that. You didn't see that. Well, no, that's why we're here on Breaking Inside news, Valkyrie right Athletics. <laughs> but Converse had 44 student athletes uh, on the all academic team conference team so i think we got to congratulate them again just like the presidential honor list that's our right. honor roll of valkyries are getting it done in the classroom that's right very yeah. important but hey we're not going to waste any time because we have a great show today right and, uh, and we do have some special guests oh wait a minute that's right well. hold on we we do let's you know what bernie sanders has been everywhere and bernie has been at almost every valkyries game but these are our cutouts sydney tell them how they can get one of these cutouts if you go to govalkyries.com they have a place where you can order these. So if you want to attend the games in physical cutout form, that's, right. <laughs> that's your place to go. Yeah, because our fan policy right now with the indoors, uh, we're not allowing fans, but uh, cutouts, hey, we're allowing all the cutouts at the that's games. Right. And, and you're right, you go to govalkyries.com, there's a buy a cutout tab up front. We got some more though, hold on. We do, we wait, do. We, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Did Jen Bell put this in there? Our athletic director's <laughs> son, Eli, making a special uh, appearance here on Inside Valkyrie Athletics. Eli's at every game as well. And actually, he's become pretty popular. Right, I, no, especially with all, yeah, all the girls. All the girls, yeah, the women's basketball players I've seen taking pictures. So we'll see Eli on Tuesday night. That's uh, right. As, as we, uh, and of course, we cannot forget our fearless leader. No, we cannot. President Newkirk, who uh, allows us to do what we're doing. That's and, right, uh, very grateful for her. She, she keeps our athletics going along with Jen Bell. But uh, yeah, you know, if you can't be here, show your support for the student athletes. Uh, if you're a parent, a fan, or a student, or a faculty staff, be a part of uh, Valkyrie Athletics. That's right. All right. Well, you guys go back. We'll see you on Tuesday. That's right. But hey, let's get into the show. We're going to bring up Haley Disco first, our um, track and field uh, student athlete who also was our student athlete of the athlete week. Of the week. That's right. So hey, we'll be right back with Haley. Until then, go Valkyries. Hey Valkyries, welcome back into Inside Valkyrie Athletics. We are here with track and field star, uh, senior Haley uh, Disco from New York. Uh, we were just talking. But hey Haley, you just had a great uh, performance. You were named our Converse College Athlete of the Week, so congratulations on that. But you guys were up at the Buccaneer Invitational, uh, playing against Division I competition, and you had your personal best in the weight throw, and it, it turned out to be Converse's second best in uh, program history at 13.39 meters. You finished seventh out of 17 in that. Talk about your experience going up to Tennessee and competing against Division One and being a senior and having really your best throw of your career. Yeah, um, it was a it was actually a really good experience. It, I felt really relieved, um, primarily because we weren't supposed to have any indoor meets right. at a certain point. So, um, as a senior, to hear that we can actually you know not only have conference but attend a meet in Tennessee and compete against amazing Division One athletes. You know, because that can only make me better as a as a as an athlete as well. Um, so relieved and grateful um, were some emotions that I was experiencing. Um, and just overall happy and content, and just I was happy to have a senior meet. <laughs> sure, and you know that that is true because you are a senior, and it's it, it's had to be difficult over the last few years being able to compete. So I'm glad to hear you say that. But I have to ask this: a lot of people might not understand what the weight throw is. You're, you're a senior, you've been here for a while, but in high school, how did you get into that? And you know, how did you propel that into a college career? Yeah. So actually in high school, hammer and weight throw um, aren't in competition or javelin actually. So most, most athletes um, either do it in an AAU team, um, AAU track, or when they come to college, they learn it for the first time, which is the case that I was. Um, I learned it for the first time freshman year um, and, you know, I competed at conference and it wasn't anything like, you know, special, but Coach Morin has done a really great job at coaching me and he's helped me become the athlete I am. Um, so I've learned it freshman year here and I'm a senior and I'm, 
I'm here, so. Yeah. I'm gonna let Sydney ask you some questions. I'm gonna switch microphones with you here. So you do have your conference championship coming up and having set your personal best record as well as the second best in conference history, kind of talk a little bit about what your mindset is going in and the preparation for your conference championship. Every meet that I go to, I try to think of it as a competition against myself primarily. Um, I'm trying to score my team points. I'm trying to you know, make my coach happy, but I'm trying to get myself a PR. And um, I think that for me is more important than like, you know, going against another school's team. Like, you know, they're, they're competitors, but they're like fellow athletes competing and I can learn from them and I can get stuff from them in order to make myself better and going against myself. Um, and for conference this year, that's that's what I hope to do is is to get a PR and you know to make my team happy and to make my coach happy, but to do really well for myself. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations again. That's amazing. Yeah, and we um you know you know we we look forward to um, Sydney and I are from the Virginia Beach area, so where you guys are going, they, it's a brand new facility. And it's really exciting that Conference Carolina has been able to secure that for your conference championships. And we're excited to see you. And hopefully we can be down there and cover you and, and that. And, but real quick before we go, so this is indoors. So you've got outdoor coming up still. So last question for you, how are you preparing for that? And does the indoor really get you ready for the outdoor season? Um, we're preparing the same way we always do. We're just, we're just hitting it. We just keep practicing. We just, um, do what we need to do as a team every single day, individually, go to weights, um, go to practice. Uh, weight is different than hammer, um, a little bit, it's heavier. So the weight is about 20 pounds and the hammer, the hammer is lighter than that. It's about eight pounds like a shot put would be. So, and there's different lengths. So you have to, you know, counter the weight a little bit differently. Um, but I think it does prepare you. It prepares you, it excites you because after you're stuck in a, in a facility, new or not, they're kind of, uh, you know, there's something to being outside in the fresh air that is exciting a little bit. So um, I'm excited for outdoor and I'm excited to see what my teammates can do as well. All right, Haley, thanks for coming by. First time on Inside Valkyrie Athletics. Hope it's not the last time. We look forward <laughs> to seeing you. Good luck at conference championships. Hey everybody, Haley Disco, Converse Athletics Athlete of the Week. Personal best, second in the history of the program. She's ready to make the one that will be the yeah, best in history, history program. But thanks for coming by. Until then, we'll be right back. Go Valkyries. Hey, Valkyries, we sure do miss our fans, and it gets lonely in the gym. But, hey, here's a great opportunity for you. If you look at these cutouts, it's a great way to show your spirit, your support for the Valkyries, being here right in the gym, and also on our outdoor sports that are coming up soon. If you're interested, just go to GoValkyries.com. On the front page, you'll see a Buy a Cutout tab. Click on that. For $50, you can be a part of uh, Valkyries supporting Valkyries and show your Valkyrie spirit. Again, we hope to have you back soon, but in the meantime, show your support. Buy a Cutout. Until then, go Valkyries. Hey, Valkyries, welcome back. We are joined by softball senior Allison Plaffin. Allison, welcome to Inside Valkyries. Thank you for having me. So, hey, you guys, are you, you started six games into the season. Um, let me tell you what, it's cold out there right now. Uh, but your first game against St. Andrews uh, at Tiger River Park, you split. Uh, lost a, a close one in the first game with a 3-2. Yeah. Then you guys just lit it up 13-1 to and went to Francis Marion, kind of on the, the wrong end of the, the, the thing there. I uh, lost two, but then you got to have a rematch against St. Andrews. And man, you guys, 3 nothing to shut out the first game. And then that second game we've been talking before we went on the air, they were down 5 nothing. Ended up winning seven six, and you know I think you had a lot to do with that. And um, we're excited. We're excited to see you guys win. But kind of talk about the first six games and how it's been to get out there, play through all this crazy craziness in this world. Yeah, so it's definitely been exciting to get back on the field. And as a senior, it's like these past eleven months, I've been like, am I even gonna get to be back on the field? Did I play my last game and not even know it? So being able to get on the field has been amazing, and it's really just kind of motiv motivated us to go out there and play as good as we can. And like Chris said, you guys were down by five and have won the last three games. So kind of talk about your momentum and that momentum going into your next home game. Yeah, so we're, we already played St. Andrews and playing them again. It's like we knew we could beat them. And 
even being down, we were like, we're not, being down isn't going to stop us. Um, and I think it carries into the next home game because we um, played CIU last year and split with them. And it's a team that we know we can beat and compete with. So. And there had to be a little bit extra motivation. Coach Jim George played at St. Andrews, and this you really four games out of your, your first six, you got to play them. But, you know, all joking aside, when you're down 5 nothing, and like you said, you knew you could do it, what's the mindset in the dugout, and, and how is Coach coaching you guys to keep you focused? Like, hey, we can do this. And, it, and what I watched, it, you slowly chipped away at that lead, and then it was still 6-4, and then you guys had a big sixth inning, and I know you, I think you scored, the, was it the sixth or seventh run? from third base, but what is the mindset when you're down and how do you keep focused and, and to know that you still can win this game? Um, so all season, Coach G has focused on us hitting. She's like, we're hitting, that's our goal. And so even being down five runs, we were like, we can score five runs. We know we can, just knowing what you saw last time and having a plan when you go up to bat, you know, if there's a runner on third, your job's to score her, so. And your next game is home, like we mentioned. You guys will be able to have fans, which is extremely exciting, I know, for you. So will that kind of change the game at all or anything like that, considering you guys haven't been able to have fans this year? Uh, yeah, when we got the news that we were able to have fans, it was really exciting for everyone because I think softball, we have a big parent following. So it's really exciting to be able to see um, our parents up in the stands. All right, Sydney, we're going to do a little rapid fire with Allison here. Uh, okay. We got it here. But again, first off, congratulations on the season. We look forward to Columbia International. We'll be out there. We are live streaming all their games. Um, so you can still have fans. I know you're limited to, I believe, two. Yes. But um, from what I heard is the live stream we had last time, we had hundreds of people watching um, watch that, even as far as the West Coast. So we're excited. That. All right, favorite color? Uh, navy blue. <laughs> right. Who are you listening to these days? Uh, Halsey and Taylor Swift. Yeah, I should probably get yeah. the mic. <laughs> you know, I'm so old. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All right. Favorite food in the cafeteria? Uh, or do you even eat in the cafeteria? I usually go to Freshens and I get the Chipotle chicken club. Uh, Frank behind the camera. He loves I think he, he spends too much money in front. All right. But seriously, uh, we're, we're glad to have you here. Um, I'm glad you can do your senior season. We look forward. Um, I'll tell you what. I, I, I've not been a big softball guy, but the last six games I've been so into just because you guys do. Go ahead. And real quick, talk about your pitching, because that's one of the things um, that I've noticed. I mean, you've got three or four pitchers that come in, maybe three that uh, Coach G um, rotates, but they've been pretty dominant. I mean, again, Francis Marion was a little hiccup with you guys, but the other one, they really stuck in there. But can you talk about that as a senior and, and what you see in your pitching staff? Yeah. Um, hold on. I don't believe. And that's okay. <laughs> I put, you know, you're not a pitcher, but I put you on the spot on that. But I just know, like, um, I think the shutout for a pitcher is great. And then, again, to be down 5 nothing, but have your pitching staff at the end shut them down in the seventh inning, I mean, that's got to be a compliment to the staff and what they're doing and what Coach is doing with them on a daily basis. Yeah, I think the biggest thing with our um, pitching is they're really solid this year. And it's just like when we scrimmage each other, it's like getting to see them and like knowing that they're good. And then I think our defense has had and I'm done so good at having our pitchers back and just – making the routine plays and even the great plays to keep us in the games. All right, last, last rapid fire. Who's your ride or die on your team? Oh, um, <laughs> probably Grace McKinney. Grace McKinney? Yeah. Num number 10. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it right. <laughs> All right, hey, Valkyries, great having Allison here. Uh, look forward to uh, Wednesday, uh, Columbia International University. Got a double header starting at four. Uh, check it out on the live stream. Allison, best of luck to you. Thanks for coming by. Thank yeah, you for having thank me. You. All right, till then, go Valkyries. Hey, Valkyries, we sure do miss our fans, and it gets lonely in the gym, but hey, here's a great opportunity for you. If you look at these cutouts, it's a great way to show your spirit, your support for the Valkyries, being here right in the gym, and also on our outdoor sports that are coming up soon. If you're interested, just go to GoValkyries.com. On the front page, you'll see a Buy a Cutout tab. Click on that. For $50, you can be a part of uh, Valkyries supporting Valkyries and show your Valkyrie spirit. Again, we hope to have you back soon, but in the meantime, show your support. Buy a Cutout. Until then, go Valkyries. Valkyries, welcome back to Inside Valkyrie Athletics. We've got a special segment here, Sydney. We have the voice right. of the Valkyries, Alex Smith. Alex, welcome. 
Thank you very much. It's uh, it's good to be here and uh, good to be a part of uh, this Valkyrie athletic program you got going here. Yeah, you know, I got to tell the story. I mean, we, we've been live streaming our, our games and we've really been kind of feeling out what we need to do and get some commentary going and, and to, to kind of take take Converse to the next level. And Coach Ryan Saunders, our men's basketball coach, actually texted me your number on a napkin, uh, <laughs> which was funny. I got a text one night and you and I talked and we brought you in and we're excited. I know you're affiliated with Fox Sports and do some other things here in, in the Spartanburg area, but we're so excited to have you here and to take us to the next level and, and really promote, you know, not only the women's basketball team, but men next year, our volleyball team and all our other Olympic sports as well. But kind of talk about, uh, Alex, your, your background, what you've done uh, over the years and, you know, how you kind of came to learn about Converse and be a part of us. Uh, yeah, it really started. Coach Saunders actually caught me in the in the middle of broadcasting a high school basketball game uh, with a player that he's recruiting that's actually committed to come here uh, and be a part of this Ben's basketball program that will be starting next year. Uh, I've got a history. I've worked in sports radio for probably about a decade now. I've been with Fox Sports uh, here in Spartanburg for the last five years. Uh, I've worked, I've called Division One athletics, volleyball, basketball, men's and women's soccer on, uh, on ESPN Plus on the streaming site for them. Uh, so, you know, I've got a good bit of an experience, uh, but I'm really excited uh, to be able to be a part of something, building it from the ground up. You know, Converse has a, a great history of being excellent in the classroom, and we want to kind of transfer that excellence over to the playing field. And, and, and to do this and to be able uh, to get the word out there and have some more people interested in what we've got going on here at Converse, I'm just really, really excited and, and can't, wait, can't wait to get my feet wet here. And you do have a great resume with broadcasting lots of sports. Do you have a personal favorite that you like to commentate the best for? That is a very tough question. I guess if I had to pick, um, I, I'm a baseball softball guy. I played baseball in college. Uh, my father and my brothers both played baseball in college. So uh, that was something that I kind of learned the intricacies of very early in life, you know, and that's something I feel I would call myself an expert. You know, some people may disagree, but uh, <laughs> but I'd say baseball, uh, but basketball, soccer, all things I grew up. I, I was a physical education major in college, uh, so I had to learn, you know, the rules and everything for all the different types of sports. And uh, sports played a huge part in my life growing up, uh, just, uh, you know, making friends, being a good teammate, uh, becoming a better person. And sports were a really big influence on me. You know, Alex, let's talk about it. You're going to be coming in doing our last three women's game. And, and right now, our women, we talked about this before we were on there, our, our, our women are really starting, not to peak, but get to the, play in at their potential. And we talked about Keishana Fair, who's a freshman, scored 32 points last night. Again, this will air on Tuesday, but last night was Thursday where they went in and avenged a loss to Lees McRae. What can we expect from you as you commentate? And, you know, I'll be sitting, bes I'll be sitting beside you, kind of helping you out doing, the, doing your, your uh, color, but... And what can we expect from you and, and what, what are your philosophies as you go in to get ready to call a game? Well, obviously research is, is an important part, you know, knowing the rosters and knowing the, the team, uh, but kind of the way that they play, getting a little bit uh, of a feel for the coaches and the style that they play. And, and when I'm on air, I like to have fun. Uh, you know, I understand that it, it's a business and we try to do things professionally, but there's no problem with, with having a good time and smiling because sports are fun for me. And hopefully I can, I can transfer that over to the viewer, that the viewer tunes in, we put on a good product, and that they enjoy watching Valkyrie Athletics. Well, Alex, we are thrilled to have you here. And I can't, I can't wait. Uh, me, you, Frank, uh, Sydney, we're all up there, what we call a little crow's nest up there, and, and get this production going. But I think you coming to us, and I'm excited you're here, and I know Sydney's excited, and Jen Bell, our athletic director, Randy Loggins, uh, are excited to take us to the next level. And, and you know, we can't have fans. So as you said, we like to have fun. So it's an opportunity for the parents and the fans and the staff and faculty to enjoy a broadcast and hopefully see us to continue win winning because uh, Coach Jim Brunelli's kind of got him focused in the right direction. But hey, everybody, we will see, or not see, but we'll hear Alex uh, Tuesday night uh, at seven o'clock as we, uh, we have our next home game. And we're excited to have you. You are the voice of the Valkyries now. Yeah, we're so, glad to have you yeah. on the team. Uh, glad to say we can have a voice of the Valkyries because we have not had that here before. Again, stepping it up to the next next level. And we want Spartanburg to know Converse is not just a school here anymore. We are an elite athletic program that uh, produces great student athletes. And we're making and, history. And making history. And Alex, you'll be there to tell that story every day. Hey, until then, voice of the Valkyries, Sydney, Chris, we'll be right back.
Hey, Valkyries, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the show. Great interviews today, huh? Yeah, a lot of exciting new news. A lot of new news. We had The Voice. We just finished up with The Voice, which is going to be great. And then, you know, talking to, like, Haley Disco, um, how she became to do what she, or came to do what she's doing and as a senior and setting a personal uh, goal. And, you know, one of the things I like she said, it's like I'm really not competing against the other team, competing against myself. And right. I think that's a great mindset to have. Yeah, and I think it's exciting that we're getting student athletes on here and getting a little bit more behind the scenes with their academics as well as with their personal lives. Yeah, and that's our goal is to, you know, we wanted to get the coaches on, but really it's about the student athletes here at Converse. We want to promote them because they're doing great things. And I think the community, and I know you agree, Sydney, the community needs to hear what, what's going on with them. And I think with having the voice come in, Alex from 98.3 Fox Sports, he can help us get that out too. Right. And hey, Allison, uh, softball, softball's uh, had a great, uh, great yeah, run. Yeah, they have a lot of momentum going, so we're excited to see where that kind of takes them as well. So. All right, and you got what? A uh, little over a week till you guys start, right? That's Go right. On. Our right. first home tournament is February twenty second, twenty third. So. Well, we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to all our um, all our athletes. You know, things change with COVID and the weather now that we have outside sports, but always go to govalkyries.com for all updates, even schedule changes. We'll have them on there. Right, all of our social media is posted there as well. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Anything. It's there, yeah. yeah. And um, I guess we'll be back next week. That's right. I until hope so. then. Yeah, until then. And wait, got to thank Frank Chapman behind the camera getting us going. Uh, but as always, as you said, until then, go Valkyries.